When we have damage to the brain, think of a city with no roads. Roads are destroyed. That's what diffuse axonal brain injury is. This actually is the same as it's a computer-generated connectome of the brain of Phineas Gage, the person with the left frontal damage. These aren't connections. These are damaged connections, lost connections in the brain. And we can see, even though it's in the left frontal area, how it has reaches to the opposite, to the posterior, to all over the brain. Very impactful. Which brings us to the next topic. What is DTI? So we, we all hear about DTI, diffusion tensor imaging. I'm going to go a little bit into this. It's, you've probably seen in reports something called FA, fractional anisotropy. Isotrope means equal in all direction. Anisotrope means not equal in all direction. It's, and so here we have, if we put a little droplet of blue dye in a cup of water, in a glass of water, it diffuses equally in all directions. It's what we call isotropic. If we have uh, that same blue dye in a tube, it diffuses just in one direction. It's anisotropic. So unfortunately, it's a little confusing. It's a double negative. So anisotropic, if the FA, anti, fractional anisotropy is zero, it means it has zero anisotropy, means it's completely isotropic. So it's a little bit of a play on words, but that's how we have. We have FA fractional ranging from zero to one. And we can, now, by coincidence, the white matter structures in the brain are just like those tubes. They're bundles of neurons that send their uh, fibers out in long axons, and they're like cables through the brain. So we would imagine if they're all organized and pure, intact, that FA, fractional isotropy, is going to be high. It's going to be very linear. But with diffuse axonal injury, torn axons, sheared axons, we can imagine the fluid's going to be leaking all over. So it's no longer like a tube. It's more like a diffuse. So that FA, the fractional anisotropy, decreases. Again, just summarizing, healthy, organized tubes, anisotropy is high. Injured, disorganized, anisotropy is low. And again, just bringing that home, because this is an important point. This is basically the basis about which di diffusion tensor imaging. Then the question is, what's a tensor? So tensor just means a number, a zero-dimensional number, what's called a scalar, which is the magnitude of diffusion multiplied by the vector, the direction. So when you have a scalar multiplied by a vector, that's a tensor. And that's what direction this is diffusing in. And, by, and so we know, generally, CT scan, not very useful for mild TBI. As a matter of fact, mostly it's negative. MRI, a little more helpful. And DTI, more helpful. But nothing is the holy grail. It's ultimately the clinical exam. Let's not pay attention to any of the names of these fibers. I merely want to indicate these are the super highways of the brain. They connect fibers going front to back, side to side, and top down to the spine. Very important fibers. And even higher than that, over the last number of years, we've been able to appreciate now even a higher scale network called large scale networks. In particular, I want to pay attention to this one, the salience network. Let's say we're sitting in this room. An alarm goes off about 500 feet away. 